But an example of a woman that is truly inspiring um, and making a difference in, in the public sphere is my fellow Latina, Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez, um, the youngest woman to make it to, to the U.S. Congress, to sit in the U.S. Congress, and a daughter of hardworking immigrants. Um, in her political career, she has always stood up and fought for uh, fought the fight for gender equality, uh, gender equity, um, as well as uh, the rights for um, migrant communities. Um, she uh, has a very progressive agenda and always there to support those communities uh, that don't have a voice um, and be that voice herself for those communities. Um, she has never strayed away from the tough questions. Uh, always willing to speak uh, her mind and be the voice of progressive change. So I think uh, Alexander Ocasio-Cortez is definitely an inspiration to me and an inspiration to a lot. I think all my goals and aspirations have always been centered around giving back and contributing to the community. The way uh, my grandparents and my mother have, um, I think that their, their lives definitely inspired me and the way they gave back to their communities and worked hard to support the people around them from family to strangers have always inspired me, has always inspired me and has led me to a career where I can give back to my own community. Uh, so far is considerable, is, is quite considerable, especially in seeing more women in positions of leadership, I believe. Um, as well as seeing a more open and constructive discussion um, on the challenges that women face in the working environment. Um, definitely a more open dialogue, I would say. But having said that, uh, there is much more work that needs to be done uh, in order to see a truly, truly equitable uh, space for women um, in, you know, in the professional sphere. Uh, so the work is definitely far from over. I think the most important thing really is to address, uh, to address gender stereotypes. Uh, we have to, as a society, um, really seek um, to move away from gender binary. I think we really need to have concrete discussions and really focus on not seeing the world uh, through the lens of two genders. I think that's really important. Um, apart from that, I think we must also work hard to to not make assumptions of someone's capabilities um, and interests based on their gender and I think we have to do a much better job as a society to police ourselves I don't think we should be policing each other but I definitely do think we should police be policing ourselves in the matter um, and strive to always have an open mind well to be honest I believe that every day should be women's day but I do believe that International Women's Day is important to remind everyone of the challenges women face every day in all aspects of, of everyday life and all aspects of society. But more important than that, it should be a call to action. Um, I don't think International Women's Day should be a, ticking, a box ticking exercise, right? Um, I truly think that it has to be a day to take a stand and to strive for true change. I have a message for young men instead of women who are watching this video, and that is that gender equity has to be a joint effort. Addressing the challenges women face requires action from, from us as much as from the women in our lives. Uh, we as men must be proactive in pushing back against gender inequity and actively engaging to not perpetuate patriarchal norms.